Hello, hello. Welcome to Roar Restore Ministries, where we talk about the reconciliation, restoration, and resurrection power of Yeshua. I'm Tammy Lynn, and I'm so honored to have this opportunity to be a vessel used by God to speak into your life, to empower and encourage you to continue running your race, fighting that good fight of faith, and finishing strong in Jesus' name. Family, I uploaded a video, and as I was delivering that word, a scripture came to me because I knew um, that when the promise is fulfilled right in front of you, that it was going to deepen your faith in Him. It was going to change everything for you, that you was not going to be the same, that it was going to take you to a whole new level of faith. Glory, hallelujah. Well, that scripture is John 14, uh, verse 29. I'm going to encourage you all to read all of it. John 14, 16 through 31 is talking about the role of the spirit. It's talking about the voice of truth. Verse 26 says, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I said to you. Many of you right there need to know um, how faithful the Holy Spirit has been in your life. Of the times that you wanted to give up, but he would bring to remembrance what was spoken to you, what was promised to you. He has faithfully been keeping you on this faith journey, okay? So you have been hearing him. You have been hearing the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has been with you. And then in verse 29, it says, Now I have told you before it happens so that when it happens, you may believe. In the Message Bible, it says, I've told you this ahead of time before it happens. So when it does happen, it doesn't say so if it happens. It says when it does happen, the confirmation will deepen your belief in me. Again, he's revealed to you what was to come. He told you that your marriage was going to be restored before you actually saw it in the land of the living. He told you he was bringing restoration to your family. Okay, He told you that before it actually uh, manifested. Well, I'm here to tell you that it is going to manifest right in front of you in the land of the living because he is a promise maker and he is a promise keeper. And he is not a man that should lie or change his mind. Family, please do not compare God to mankind. Okay, Men, women, they will make promises. And they will fail to keep those promises. But he is a promise maker and he is a promise keeper. That one that you're praying for, maybe they changed their mind. Okay? That is not God. Okay? They were not a reflection of God. Okay? So you cannot compare God to that one who lost their mind. Okay? Changed their mind. Because God, Numbers 23, 19, is not a man that should lie or change his mind. Okay? Okay? So he revealed to you what he was going to do in your life. He revealed it before it happened. And many of you, he revealed it long ago. And you have been in a long season of wait. But though it tarry, though it tarried, you have waited for it. Glory, hallelujah. Though it tarried, you have waited for it. And it is coming to be. It is coming into fruition. And he is saying that when it does, when this is confirmed to you, he's talking about this isn't another word that is going to be a confirming word. He is talking about him confirming this through fulfilling that word that he gave to you. Glory, hallelujah. Somebody needs to catch what he said right there. Because during your season of wait, he has faithfully, the Holy Spirit has faithfully been confirming over and over again to you oh, to, to keep that promise alive within you because he is a promise maker and he is a promise keeper. So he's been having to keep you in faith, keep you on the path, keep you on the course, okay, to get to the fulfillment of that promise glory hallelujah and so now though he is talking about a confirmation as in it being fulfilled and when that happens it is going to deepen your faith in him again i'm just telling you i feel that so strongly in my spirit you are not going to be the same glory hallelujah family continue to stand firm with the word of god stay strong in your faith i will talk to you all soon shalom